Welcome to episode 25 of Juju Infusion. Despite all of my great insta-anti-stress tips for last week for you, I'm feeling the stress this week and I'm learning a couple of things. I'm learning how much I do it to myself. I'm basically my own boss, so whatever I take on, I've taken on finding that I've taken on more than I can really do and feel a sense of ease and grace. I can beat myself up about the fact that I took too much on and say, you did it to yourself, you did it to yourself, you did it to yourself, you did it to yourself. Or I can just notice that and make different choices next time when I commit to things. So I'm going to do that and be kind with myself. But in the moment, what I can do is look at what can I take off my plate and it may not be projects that I can take off my plate. I'm preparing for Rome, I'm preparing for Paris, I'm preparing for my journal juju workshop this Saturday in Boulder. I just launched my new website. I hope you like it. It's the same URL, originalimpulse.com. Check it out. Coaching my clients, which I absolutely love. Coaching my clients gives me a great opportunity to get rid of everything else in my head and in my life and focus on what my client is working on. I love that. What I can take off my plate is more what I can take off my mental plate. Noticing when I panic, noticing when I elevate my stress level myself, and noticing how I'm actually in charge of bringing that down. My response is in my control. I can try to choose that. When I talked to Carl about this, uh, the stress that I was feeling, I said, I've never felt this stressed in my life. He said that this was going around, so I'm making this video because you might be feeling that too. I don't really have a lot of great wisdom or advice except for a couple of things, and one thing I used with a client earlier today, and it's a simple phrase that can help a lot to minimize the stress, right now. So right now I don't have to make a long show for Juju Infusion. Right now I don't have to focus on this other thing. Right now, I can choose to take a deep breath and feel more calm. That actually really works. It's no yoga joke that the deep breath works. What phrase could you use when you're feeling stressed out or disappointed about something that's happened or disappointed about something that hasn't gone the way you thought it would? Right now or at this moment or these days, it's not. I'm not able to have so much calm. Hopefully that's helped you. I didn't want to confess this, but um, one way to deal with stress is to get out the mixer and make some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Now, I didn't want to say this because it could be seen as like, eating out of stress and eating from uh, a place of too much stress, but we put in lots of Talk nuts. Talk about bad hair. <laughs> we put in lots of nuts and flaxseed and pumpkin seed, so they're healthy, and Gigi and I are making these for us. Um, we're gonna send some to the kids on this gray Colorado day. If you're a woman and you're creative, or you're a woman and you're creatively stuck, you will love 12 Secrets of Highly Creative Women by Gail McMeekin. This book is so inspiring. Gail goes through 12 different elements of what helps really creative women be creative and she illustrates these these principles with interviews with different creative women this is one of the most inspiring books if you're feeling low if you're feeling down if you're going on a creativity retreat with yourself take this book you will love it it's awesome I've read this several times and it's one of the few books that I've gone back to the 12 secrets of highly creative women by Gail McMeekin This week's journal juju winner is Barb Tekel. Barb, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. I've known you and worked with you for years, and I hope I've got your name right. Thank you for watching and commenting. Karen, I wish it were you. I know you really wanted the Goat Bell journal, but at random I chose Barb, and I couldn't just lie and pretend that it was you, much as I want you to have it. So there you go. I won't be doing journal juju for the next couple of episodes because I'm traveling and I won't be able to send journals. I will be filming from Rome, I will be filming from Paris, and uploading videos for you from there, so instead of gifts in the mail, you'll be getting treats like that. Flying wish paper here at Two Hands Paper. I'm going to get some for my birthday, because I think it's a great idea. Here's my wish, I'm going to burn it up, and I put it here. 
doesn't stay on this side because it's going to fly away, so we'll have to catch it. Okay. So now you have to unroll it and roll it in like a tube. Is this part Maybe of the magic? Can... Maybe. Crumple it into a tube and then and roll it. Yep. And then you're going to stand it right on top. Mm. Wish magic paper thing. I don't know about the breeze. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Does this mean my wish is faible? Can we... Okay. And then it's going to fly away. My magic wish. Oh. Or it's going to pass out and burn the whole pen case down. Goodbye, wish. I told you it's going to fly in the air. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, they're well, we bright, yeah. Oh, wow, the, those sour cherries, you know, they're, 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 they're bright the red, they're not that bright. Worms yeah. get wishes, too, and it was just like a worm. Yeah. <laughs> they're sour, so That's they're why definitely sour. I'm hopeful. On, uh, One last thing, when you see the scarf, the Jane Austen look, know that it's a messy hair day and I don't have the time or the inclination to prettify my hair. The scarf works its magic. Thanks for watching.